and as a clutch. Some people will say why, I say why not. This new feature that Honda's developed will keep people riding bikes for a touch longer. If you're a friend of the shop or a regular customer, you know how long I've been there and I've seen customers having to give up their motorcycling because of arthritis in their wrists, struggling to grip, you know, the usual stuff that comes with old age. And this e-clutch will keep people riding for a bit longer. If you want to use the clutch, it's there. If you don't want to use the clutch, you don't use it. You just go up and down the gearbox as much as you like. Now, a quick shifter, you'll see, will do the same job. A quick shifter works in different parameters, so you have to be above a certain rev for it to work properly. This will work from tick over right the way through the red line. So any revs, any gear, just hit the lever and it just works. And you may say, well, why not have a DCT? There is some points, people have asked us and mentioned it loads, that they want to take control of the clutch to do a tight U-turn or to just move it on their drive and they feel the DCT won't do that. Well, that's where this E-clutch comes into its own. You have the best of both worlds. A quick rundown on how the E-clutch works. So those funny little things sitting on the outside of the clutch case in there, they're your little motors that open and close your clutch. And then if you do reach for the lever, you've got a clutch cable that comes down to those motors and disengages them. So you are working the clutch. Now, as a few people said, that this is a quick shifter. It's not. It's the sensor to help it all work. So as you touch the lever, your gear lever, it tells the clutches to open and close. And that's how it all works. So let's see it in action out on the road. So we'll try a bit of filtering now. So we'll get ourselves sorted on the correct gear. I think that will be second. There we go. Now if you've got the wrong gear, it actually flashes at you. I mean this is lovely first. Right, this is excellent this. I haven't touched the clutch. And now I'm right at the front. Throttle off, put the brakes on, stop. Mega. Still in gear. where this system is mega that's just away from the lights no hassle Whoosh, gone as I just mentioned if you're in the wrong gear so if you're laboring it uh, it will flash on the gear indicator to tell you to change down so if you keep watching in a second you'll see it start to flash there we'll go it flash there to say change down to first it won't stall because it just pulls the clutch in for you but it does make it hard to pull away if you're in the wrong gear. Now the E-clutch through the town seems to be absolutely faultless. You just concentrate on where you're going. Don't worry about the clutch, just hit the lever and it's mega, absolutely mega very sweet gear changes and I've found if I just keep a whiff of throttle on and I mean just a whiff changing down's rather sweet too because obviously with a quick shifter you have uh, auto blipper on it so when you change down it blips well what I'm doing is I'm just hanging on to the revs a tiny bit and it's making the shifts down beautiful
Now the weekend I borrowed the bike, the weather was against us, <laughs> it's done nothing but rain this year and my camera is waterproof but when I stick my microphone in it isn't. So couldn't take it out on twisty country lanes because I didn't have time but on this little section here you can see how sweet and smooth it's rattling up through the gearbox and there's a bit of dual carriageway. The e-clutch is really really slick. If you wanted to, you could turn the e-clutch off. So let's have a look at that. Turn your e-clutch on or off, you go into the settings. And you go into the settings using this little joystick down here. And hopefully if you see. So yes, yeah, so as I push the joystick sideways, there's your e-clutch. So we're gonna have up through the box, I'm gonna have that set on soft. So basically, you do that, you do that. Now we turn the e-clutch on or off, so you move your little joystick up for on, down for off, and then you just come out and it's as easy as that, so that's your e-clutch on. So once you've turned your e-clutch on, as I've explained in the previous little clip, you're looking for a little green A just there, middle of the dash, so when you're riding along, if that's there, it's on and it's working. Hopefully there's enough info on the Honda e-clutch and answered a few of your questions. If you want to see the start of this uh, YouTube clip, then you know where we are at Newcastle Motorcycles. And this particular bike is a demo, so if you want to have a ride out, come and have a chat and go through the terms and the conditions. Hopefully see you soon at Newcastle Motorcycles.